Hello and welcome to a short video presentation on the Libero FPGA design tool. In this video, we're going to discuss how to program an SPI flash image into an external SPI flash memory connected to a PolarFire device using a FlashPro programmer. The Libero SOC tool allows you to program an external SPI flash memory device using a JTAG programmer, like FlashPro 5 or FlashPro 6, from within the tool. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to generate an SPI image and program it into an external SPI flash device connected to a PolarFire device. First, we'll talk about how to generate an SPI flash image. Then, we'll go over how to program the image into the SPI flash device. As shown in the snapshot of the Libero Design Flow window, before generating the SPI flash image, the Libero Design must complete Place and Route generate FPGA array data, configure design initialization data and memories. Note, in this step we will select SPI images to be programmed into the SPI flash device and generate design initialization data if the design contains fabric RAM initialization data. To select SPI images to be programmed into the SPI flash device, use the configure design initialization data and memories tool. Double-click on Configure Design Initialization Data and Memories, and then select the SPI Flash tab. Under SPI Flash Clients, add the required programming images and click Apply. Note that partial programming is not currently supported, meaning that all clients need to be programmed in the SPI Flash at once. After selecting SPI images in the Configure Design Initialization Data and Memories tool, double-click on Generate SPI Flash Image or right-click and choose Run. This tool generates an SPI flash bin file in the implementation folder. After generating an SPI flash image, the Generate Bitstream step needs to be completed once. Now, double-click on the Run Program SPI Image action and wait for the program action to be complete. Here are some important notes on SPI flash programming using Libero tool. This tool erases the SPI flash prior to programming. It is recommended to program the SPI flash with Libero SOC prior to programming other data on the SPI flash using non-Libero programming solutions. As mentioned earlier, a partial update of the SPI flash is currently not supported. It is not recommended to have large gaps between clients in the SPI flash, since gaps are currently programmed with ones and increases programming time. Now we'll demonstrate what we've discussed. Here's a demo design. We've added a RAM instance in the top level so that we can include an initialization client for it as part of the SPI flash image. The design has already completed the place and route step. Now we'll proceed to the next step, which is to generate the FPGA array data. Under Program Design menu, highlight Generate FPGA Array Data and double click on it. The FPGA array data has been generated. The next step is to add clients for the SPI flash before generating the image. Double click on Configure Design Initialization Data and Memories, and then select Fabric RAMs to add the initialization client to the SPI flash. Since we have a RAM in the design, we can add the initialization client to the SPI flash image. To do that, we will select SPI flash from this dropdown and click Apply. Next, we will generate initialization data by double-clicking. The initialization data has been generated, and now we'll go back to Configure Design Initialization Data and Memories to add other clients. Click on the SPI Flash tab, where you can see that RAM initialization has been added as a client. The start address is 0 by 400 because it is the default address in the Design Initialization tab under the Design Initialization specification. Now let's go back to the SPI Flash tab. Click on Add and select Add SPI Bitstream Client. First, we'll add a recovery or golden image that will be chosen from a previously generated bitstream. Enter a start address, which is the next address of the previously added design initialization client. Similarly, we are going to add IAP and update image.
Next, we'll add a data storage client. So click on Add and select Add Data Storage Client. Now we're done adding all the clients. So we'll click on Apply and close the tool. Now we're ready to generate the SPI flash image. Double click on Generate SPI flash image. The SPI flash image file has been generated and saved in the design folder. Lastly, we will program the external SPI flash device using the Flash Pro 6 programmer with the image we previously generated. The programmer is already connected to the PC. Double click on the Run Program SPI Image Action tool and wait for programming to be completed. As you can see, the SPI flash image programming has been completed successfully. For additional information on the Libero SOC design flow for Polar Fire devices, visit the Microchip website. Thanks for watching.